Hi guys, today's topic is price tear due to hour of plane deformation. The contents will be from two composite plate with a steel coat at opposite angle to summary. Here I have a quiz for you. What is the correct description about the deformation on the rectangular laminate composed of two composite plates having steel coats at the different angles? Number one, it keeps in plane deformation shape uh, during the tension or compression. Number two, it shows out of plane deformation shape uh, during the tension or compression. Uh, let's review the previous videos uh, for a fresh start on our topic. A radial tire has the belt uh, with the steel cord at angle in the picture. Uh, let's assume the tire uh, has the two composite plate at the plus and the minus called the angle theta. Uh, they have a steel code angle opposite to each other. Uh, let's think about the two composite plates uh, with the steel code at the opposite angle under the tension force. Uh, when they are individually under the same tension force, they deformed to the parallelogram shapes, uh, but with the different skewed shapes, like in this picture, or they are in plane deformation. As illustrated in the previous slide, we have already known that uh, the uh, uh, composite plate uh, with a steel cord at angle uh, deforms to skewed parallelogram shapes. Now, what will be the deformation shape for the unified plate composed of two composite plates with the chord angle opposite to each other respectively in this picture? Ply 2 comes first for type A combination and the ply 1 comes first for type, type B combination. Can you imagine what will be the deformation shape? Let's look into the deformation for two composite plates with a steel code at opposite angle. Diagonal lines show weak and strong stiffness directions. The diagonal having the smaller angle with a steel code is a strong diagonal because the stiffness along that diagonal will be higher compared with that of the other diagonal having the bigger angle, like this. Uh, let's call the common plane of ply 1 and ply 2 as a neutral plane. Uh, when you glue and put together ply 1 and ply 2 to make them unified one plate, uh, this uh, type of unified plate is called laminated composite plate. Every one point of a neutral plane corresponding ply 1 and ply 2 uh, must show the same displacement. On the other hand, a weak line on the outer surface of ply 1 uh, must get longer than a strong line on the outer surface of ply 2. Similarly, the weak line of ply 2 must get longer than the strong line of ply 1. Uh, these two conditions cannot be satisfied in the in-plane deformation. Therefore, there should be out-of-plane deformation to satisfy the conditions above mentioned. It will be clear in the next slide. Let's think about the laminated composite plate with the ply 1 being placed at the front. Solid line is per ply 1, and the dashed line is per ply 2. Weak and strong lines of ply 1 are placed on the outer surface facing the minus z axis, and the weak and the strong lines of ply 2 are placed on the outer surface facing the plus z axis. The weak line of ply 1 should be uh, longer than the strong line of ply 2 under the tension. 
uh, they had the same length before being loaded. Therefore, point A and point C here are getting into the screen to the plus Z axis. On the other hand, a weak line of ply 2 uh, should be uh, longer than strong line of ply 1. Uh, they had the same length before uh, being loaded. Therefore, a point B, B and the point D are popping out of the screen to the minus Z axis. Consequently, the twisting movements are produced as illustrated in the following animation. Let's watch the animation. This is the original shape here. And this is the shape for the moderate tension. And this is the shape for strong tension. And finally, we have the moment due to the twisting deformation like this. Let's look into the tw twisting motion in detail. As an example, enlarge the picture of the area around A here can help us. As you can see, displacement of delta x, delta y, and delta z are produced in their corresponding axis uh, during the twisting deformation. Consequently, these behaviors explain the coupling stiffness between the stretching and the twisting, while also stretching and bending. The deformation in the previous slide is similar to that of a table mat as shown in the picture. We have A, B, C, and D points here in the belt. And the corresponding points in the table mat are A, B, C, and D points. A and C move backwards and B and D move forward. This is the twisting action that AB line and DC line are rotating in opposite direction to each other. During that action, the corresponding curvature uh, looks like the curved arrows of green color. Uh, based on the knowledge we have learned until now, uh, for the simply supported ends, bottom and the top of a laminated composite plate will rotate further and further away opposite to each other in accordance with the tension force increasing and we end up with the plate twisted 180 degrees as shown in the picture. Uh, detailed contents are available in the essay paper number 760731 priced here in the radial carcass tires written by Pottinger. For the priced tire having this shape, uh, belts have already been twisted. Uh, belts are forced to be flattened and all the moments and forces are produced in the tire contact patch, like in the middle picture. Of a left and the lower right region have the strongest downforce and the upper right and the lower left region have the weakest downforce because of the twisting behavior above mentioned. Longitudinal and the lateral forces are also produced in the tire contact patch. Tire belts have a flattened shape in the contact patch as it rolls on the road surface. For the no ply steel tire, tire belt curvatures in the non contact patch area are constant along every longitudinal and lateral plane. Therefore, moving direction of tire 
coincide with the depth of tire longitudinal center line in the tire contact patch, like this manner. However, for the fly steer tire, tire belt's curvature become at angle like green arrows. All the curvatures don't coincide with longitudinal or lateral axis. Therefore, tire deformation behavior becomes twisted shape. Consequently, fly steer forces on the tire contact patch are produced uh, during the shape shift from twisted to flattened one. Uh, therefore, moving direction of tire doesn't coincide with that of tire longitudinal center line. This explains the fly steer uh, due to out of plane deformation of tire belts. The answer to the quiz is it shows arrow plane deformation shape during the tension or compression. Here we have a summary. Laminated composite plate is composed of more than two composite plates. Tire belts are composed of a set of composite plates reinforced by cord at angle with high stiffness. A uh, further laminate plate composed of two composite ones. Uh, when the principal axis of each composite plate with cord at angle are different each other, out of plane deformation is produced. Out of plane deformation creates fly steer. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand the upcoming videos. In the previous video, E0029, I explained the characteristic of Conesty and the ply steer. Conesty is the manufacturing problem, and the ply steer is the design problem. Recently, I explained the ply steer uh, due to in-plane deformation of corded belt at angle. The next video will be ply steer part 6. I will explain the laminate theory. Uh, you can catch the brand new videos by free subscription. So, what are you waiting for? See you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.